What's up YouTube, my name is John Brahman of Crusoe Design Co. And recently I've been doing Reels, TikTok shorts again. And I did one on missing fonts and I thought that it deserved a little bit better of a tutorial. So I'm putting it here on YouTube. So there's a lot of scenarios where you're gonna get a file sent to you where you're gonna be missing the fonts. They weren't properly embedded, they weren't created outlines. And in many instances, say you're getting a logo or a brand package, you don't need to actually be able to edit the font. You just wanna be able to use the logo and not have to try and find paid fonts. So there's a few different ways to do it. I'll show you how I used to do it and the best way to do it that I do now. So I think the best part of this new method is you don't even have to leave Adobe Illustrator and it can be an AI or a PDF. It doesn't have to be a PDF. You don't need Acrobat, check this out. All right, so let's give you a couple examples of how you can fix this problem here that says no problem with the missing font and the best way to do it and the fastest way to do it. So most people use Adobe Acrobat and I do find that it's rather inconsistent. By the way, I think it's useful to see how other people do it and the common misconceptions on how you should do something first. But if you don't care about that and you just wanna see the right fast way to do it, I'll put chapters below, just skip ahead to the right way. So for example, I downloaded this Burger King brand guide just to show you. This is actually a font that I'm missing. Let me just open this in Adobe Illustrator real quick here. I'll just open the first page. And you can see here, I don't have any of these fonts. So in a lot of scenarios, someone will send this to you and say, hey, I just need that text that says Burger King. Literally a Burger King restaurant owner will send it because they'll be like, this is what the corporate gave me. What else can I do with it? Because a lot of times they're not graphic designers and they don't understand the difference. So they go, this is all I got, work with it. So then a lot of times people will bring that up into Adobe Acrobat just like this. And there's two ways to do this. And a lot of the people will make the mistake of using Flattener Preview. And this one is really inconsistent because if there's no flattener issues, no transparency issues, it just won't work. So for the sake of it, let's apply this to the current page. Say yes, click OK. I'm going to save this and we'll call it Burger King 22 underscore 2. Now, if I open this in Adobe Illustrator, you're going to find out, just open that page, that it didn't work. And that's because there was no transparency issues on this page, so it didn't convert anything. So that's the bad way to do it. So if you've been doing it that way, cut it out. So the next way, I'm gonna open this again. So I'm gonna open this original file again here. So the proper way to do it would be to go view more, and then you go down to print production, and you wanna go pre-flight, and up here you're gonna search outline, and there it is there. So you're gonna analyze and fix. Then we'll call this number three this time. Save it, wait for it. Now this one has a lot of pages to be fair, but in this case, I just want page one. So normally you wouldn't have to wait for all this. So that's saved. And now if we bring that into Adobe Illustrator, select page one, you can see that it did work and it did outline it. So that's useful, it's great, it works. The problem is I've also saved this file as a PDF. And when I saved it, I did have this font and then I went ahead and deleted it. So if I open that in Adobe Acrobat, let's use the way that we know works. Use print production, pre-flight, convert that to outlines, and we'll call this underscore two. So again, we want this to be outlined. Now, if I open up that file in Illustrator, for some reason or another, it didn't outline it. I don't even know why, but sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't work. It's inconsistent and it's frustrating. So here's the solution that's gonna save everybody a ton of time. So we just wanna open a new document and we're gonna go to place. And we're gonna grab that original Burger King document that we know that we don't have the font of, okay? This is the original one. So instead of hitting embed, you actually wanna go down to object, flatten transparency, and you wanna make sure that convert all text to outlines is checked. The rest of the stuff you can play around with, but that's the key. Click okay, and just like that, you can see that your text was fully vector and fully outlined, and it took one second. The other thing I like about it is if we go to file, place, and now we grab that PDF, the original PDF that I made that did not work, did not convert in Acrobat. And we do the same thing. We just hit OK. Look at that. It worked perfectly. So I find this to be not only way more consistent, but way faster. So this 100% is the way that you get missing fonts converted to outlines from now on. So there you go. Let me know if it works for you. I have not found an instance where it hasn't worked yet. All right. I hope you all like that tip. If you liked it, please do hit like, subscribe, bell, whatever the things that are that people do on YouTube because I'm lazy and I'll only keep making videos if you, you know, let me know that you like them. All right, we'll see you guys soon.